What's it feeling like putting on that turnover helmet? Oh, it was a dream come true. Um, seeing the tradition, uh, seeing other guys put it on, you know, before me, it just meant a lot. I knew it meant something to this town because, you know, that, that shows hard work and dedication right there. And just to put it on, you know, it just it just made me want, want to have that feeling again. So it was a blessing. What should Arms give up, but also the three big plays. Um, just kind of as a defense, what what do you guys try and look for? What do you guys try and do when you're giving up that yard, but then you also have those big explosive game changing plays? Uh, we teach our guys to have a goldfish mentality. Um, you know, a play happens, 10 seconds later you let it go and you focus on the next one. Uh, we knew Baylor was a tough, you know, a tough team to play, but we were going to uh, have our plays as well. So as long as we just kept attacking them, we knew we'd come out with the dub. So that's how we teach our guys to, you know, always come back and fight harder. What's the feeling for you? Just kind of give us a sense of the feeling of we talked to you the other day on the emphasis on, was on creating turnovers been something the defense hasn't done enough this year. You talked about playing with your hair on fire, and then boom, it all happens, and it pays off. Uh, I think it was, just, it was just our time. You know, we, we keep working at it at practice, trying to get, you know, turnovers, fumble recoveries, anything. And um, tonight it happened, and it showed that, you know, we have to take the ball away. And that's something that we emphasized this week, and we, we executed well this week. Was it just maybe bounces going your way? Because Coach Brown brought that up, that you guys were close, the team was close, bounces didn't you go, you go your way in the past, or was there something you guys saw in this matchup that you were salivating over? Um, I say it was growing up into this game. Uh, you see, you know, we would have tip passes our other weeks and uh, batted down balls or strip attempts. But, you know, it, it bounced our way this week, and, you know, we took advantage of it. And as you see, you know, the score, it showed that, you know, we, we had – we worked hard for what we wanted, and that's how we came out with the dub. After a couple heartbreakers to start the year, just what does it say about the character of this team to battle in a close game and come back with 17-7 to early and, and do what you needed to do to pull it out? Uh, it, it shows us to never give up. Um, you know, when our back's against the wall, how are we going to respond? We knew with a lot of new guys on this team and young guys as well, um, we were going to have to find our identity. And, you know, through the losses that we had, we felt this was a, a good turning point. And, you know, yeah, we, we're gaining confidence. And, that you know, tonight was a good way to show that, you know, we're, we're getting ready to go on a roll. Did it kind of feel like a last stand late in that fourth quarter to just as far as you guys putting your foot down and, and swinging the tie? Uh, I would say so. Um, we just knew we had to buckle down and, you know, trust our alignments, assignments, and, you know, what we were taught by the coaches to go out there and, you know, play hard. Because the hardest, the the team who plays harder will win, and that's what we did. Hey, just here, how'd you get the second fumble? That wasn't anywhere near you looked like. Oh, it wasn't. But coaches, they they talked about straining all week, and you know whether I, I was close to the ball or not, I felt you know I could make a play. So honestly, I jumped on the pile, and I seen I seen it opening up, and I just you know, thanks to uh, Mike Lockhart, he was able to you know push the uh, guy off. But you know a after that. Uh, I came away with the ball. Is that so? I don't want to say it doesn't happen earlier in the year, but it sounds like part of the mentality of creating turnovers, straining, playing harder. That's all stuff that was reinforced there. Like that type of play is what they've been talking to you about. Yes, uh, we had to go back to the basics. I think we we grew away from it, uh, trying to learn plays and stuff. But uh, this week, you know, they told us to you know buckle down and just do what you're you were recruited to do here, and that's make plays. You said Mike pushed the, push somebody off of it. Did a Baylor player maybe have it a little bit at first? Then you kind of burrowed in with his help to get it? Uh, I think Jacoby Spells had it for a little bit, and I came in and, you know, helped him out with the, <laughs> with the ball. But, yeah, I think we had it the whole time, honestly. But, but yeah, he was close. So the first fumble recovery, is there any, like, art or method to scooping it in? scoring or running as far as long as you did instead of, you know, a lot of times you see defensive players, they try and pick it up and run, they don't end up recovering it. How do you kind of balance the two to know that you need to recover it first before you can think about running 70 yards? Um, I think at practice we, we emphasize uh, country ball, city ball, uh, knowing if any guy's around, you know, you can scoop and score. And we practice those every single day. So it was more so a routine play for me to, you know, secure the ball. And then I seen daylight. And I just ran with it. You mentioned a turning point with this defense. Do you think that you've hit a turning point in your role in the defense? I think so as well. Um, but, you know, I think the guys around me uh, made me, you know, play harder and play faster.
because I know when, when one side is struggling, you know, the other side has to compliment them and pick them up. And I felt, I felt yeah, that was my time to make the play. But, you know, it wasn't just me out there. It was my teammates who, who were playing hard too. So, yeah. Have you ever had a scoop and score like that? I can't say that I have. Uh, I've had interceptions, but uh, scooping the ball, I thought that was, that was a first. So, so I was really excited about that.